Esta sorpresa ahí, ¿qué pasó? <risa> <risa> Bienvenidos, guys, a una nueva edición de Beatlemania Excel con The Jukebox Beatles. We're back. Nos cogimos un receso, una leve pausa la semana pasada, ¿verdad? En... Para estar este a tono con lo que estaba pasando y estar este solidario con la causa del racismo y todas las cosas, la violencia que está ocurriendo en el mundo entero. Y nada, pero estamos de vuelta aquí. Beatlemania XL, this is Beatlemania XL. Welcome back. If this is your first time, we are the Jukebox Beatles. We're Beatles. Ay, Puerto Rico. And every Tuesday we get together and we talk about the Beatles, not only among us, but we talk with you guys about the Beatles. Guys, bienvenido. Yeah, alemán es el próximo, alemán es el próximo. Yeah. How's it going, everybody? Um, thank you for being here. Hello, once again, for I don't know how many Tuesdays we've been doing this, except for last Tuesday, we broke our perfect record for the... <laughs> yeah, but, but it was for a good cause, you know? Uh, so, I hope you all enjoy the show, like, in some record about some band. <laughs> <laughs> What? What did you say? What? <laughs> I said, I hope you will enjoy the show. Let me rephrase. I hope you will enjoy the show. Oh, you go. As would say, a record from a band that I'm not gonna mention. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. 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 There you I'm go. Sorry. There you it's, go. It's, it something confusing. <laughs> well, okay. It's just. I, got, I understand now. Uh, hello, Thanks. everybody. We're happy to be back here again this Tuesday. Uh, happy to talk Beatles and talk with our fans and you know we're Beatles fans ourselves. So this is you know we love what we do here. So hello everybody. Yes, good to be back. Good to be back with you guys. I I missed you guys. It's been two weeks without seeing your faces. Yeah, <laughs> really? Is, is, it, is it been that long? It's been that long. I counted the days, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, so it's good to be back. Good to be on the show and let's and let's talk some Beatles. Let's do it. Claro, claro que sí. Fisu, un saludito. Sé que no no nos podemos ver. No nos hemos visto desde desde que empezó todo esto en marzo yeah, 15 man. por ahí, yo no sé, que empezó el lockdown, pero Mr. F always, you know, behind the scenes, you know, like the Wizard of Us, you know, pulling the <laughs> levels and the, you know, the cracks and everything. Espérate, tengo ahí algo. Vamos a ah, Nico algo. Espérate, dale, mi otro. Fui yo, fue un troca ahí. ¿Qué te hago? Mira, 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 Salió del anonimato. Wow. Por, fin lo, por fin lo vemos, por fin lo vemos. Ya volvió, ya volvió. Mira, eso es como cuando le quitaron la máscara al Invader, que o sea, le vieron la cara por primera vez. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. Oye, guys, estamos. We're still in the lockdown, but, well, not really a full on lockdown. You know, we're, we are, uh, you know, a little bit flexible now. You know, people started working, and not us, because, you know, musicians, you know, we have to wait till it's over. So, man, así que seguimos, seguimos las cosas aquí, seguimos haciendo esto. We still, you know, even though we're not playing live, you know, we're very active in social media and Facebook. And doing this, man, doing this so we can, you know, stay up. We just did uh, the Beatle Weekend online in Guatemala, presentado por el Guatemala Beatles Day. We just, yes, yes. I, I think it was uh, last week or the week before, uh, another festival that was canceled. You know, the Beatles Day from Guatemala was also canceled. And what they did, just like Abbey Road and River, they put together all the bands that were scheduled to play. Y todos ellos contribuyeron con un video y, y, and we did the same thing, man. We played a lot, uh, you know, a couple of clips from, from this show and it was great, man. Yeah. Had a good audience and yeah, it was great. Así que un saludito a la gente de Guatemala. Estuvieron en el Beatle Weekend Online. Estuvimos allí compartiendo con, con ustedes vía, vía internet, right? Frank, yes. habla tú porque Arle está ahí. Arle está en, en background. Arle está, Arle está en Home Depot mode. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just oh, putting, 
Closing the Mira, windows because dale, I cannot see my face. I cannot see myself. Estaba, dic <risa> estaba diciendo sobre el Beatles Weekend Online. Uh -huh. de, de, el festival virtual que hizo el Beatles, Beatles Day Guatemala. Estuvo bien chévere, bandas de montones de, de países. Yeah, it was great fun to see that uh, because it was mostly videos of us playing in this very show, uh, Beatlemania XL. I don't know if you said it because I was closing the windows, but it was it was like a it was like a cool experience to see all the times to see us playing in this show, uh, corrido, you know, um, all the way through without talking in in the middle. So I sat there, you know, I, I had a drink, I had a great time, you know, watching the show and I and it, it had many viewers. I think it was a success. So I'm very yeah. proud of it. <laughs> yeah, it was that's really good. I'm very proud of this band and, and, and of you guys, you know. Oh yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you, man. All right. You make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cry instead. Yeah, man. Dan, te toca. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I mean, it would have been better to, to go there because, you know, we actually went to Guatemala last year and we, we were on schedule for this year. So, uh, you know, it was the, the next best thing. And it was cool to see some bands playing and, you know, to see our own show, which was clips from Beatlemania XL and some live performances from Abiro on the River and some other places. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, hoping that we make it back to Guatemala next year. I loved Guatemala, you know. I went there a week before and I had such a great time. So, yeah, applause yeah. for Guatemala. <laughs> Guatemala, we, we, we love you, Guatemala. <laughs> we love you. We hope to come back soon, yeah. Um, the uh, Beatles weekend online, it was, it was, it was kind of cool, you know, seeing ourselves play, you know, uh, just like you guys see us on this show, but without, you know, without the whole talking uh like about the Beatles so it's kind of like a how do you call it like like a compilation of 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 us just playing and, and having fun and, and it was kind of cool just to watch ourselves and uh you know have a good time just laughing to our you know at our faces and our, the things that we do on the show <laughs> so <laughs> it, it was it was it was kind of cool yeah yeah no it was being being cool it's uh... Y Fran, un aplauso para ti, según nuestro director técnico, porque te pusiste en el centro de la cámara. Por primera <risa> vez. Wow. Man, estamos Era creciendo, man, guys. Estamos creciendo. No, no, estamos mejorando. <risa> estamos me We're getting better. Getting better all the time. Frank is in the center of the, you know, of his frame. He's always in the side. So, yeah. our technical director asked for an applause, you know, for Frank. <risa> It, there's still time though. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, all this 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 uh, festivals has been canceled. You know, todo estos festivales están siendo cancelados. So the the latest news was that the uh, uh, Beatle Week in Liverpool was also canceled, and they're thinking about doing the same thing about you know having all the bands contribute with videos and you know do their their remote performances. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do one too for them. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Así que, Let's start. Let's start with a, with a remote performance. Vamos a comenzar con una con una de esas remote performances con uno de los videos que hicimos en uno de los shows anteriores. Así que Mr. Ref, play the video.
baby. <laughs> Yeah. Oye, oh, yeah. hace falta los shows en vivo, man. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. That video was painful. <laughs> It is painful to watch, you know. We miss playing live, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Mira, empezamos el show. Let's, let's do some, let's talk about the Beatles. Something that happened. It was 20 years ago today. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it was not 20 years ago. It was 53 years ago. Not today, but the week before, Sgt. Pepper, Lonely Hearts Club Band, the greatest oh, man. album, the greatest rock album, was issued. Así que, Fisu, ponmela ahí la carátula del disco. Oh, man, oh, man. Ese disco salió la semana pasada, hace 53 años atrás, y fue el disco que revolucionó la música. No solamente revolucionó los Beatles, como artista, pero revolucionó la música en general, en el, el mundo del entretenimiento como tal. Mano, se, se viró patas arriba con el lanzamiento de ese disco, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, which was a milestone and it, it was, you know, a total revolution, not only in the Beatles as artists and as performers, but also, you know, the entertainment business, the record business, the music business, the whole world. Oh, definitely. Arle, what can you say definitely. about it, man? Yeah, it changed the, the scenario of rock music because Sgt. Pepper, let me start by saying Sgt. Pepper is the first concept album in the history of rock music. And it's, a, it's, it's, a, and it's also the album that every other band has used afterwards as a model for dozens and dozens of concept albums that came later, you know? All the songs... The idea of the record is that all the songs go around the premise of Sgt. Pepper or, or the idea of Sgt. Pepper, that the Beatles are not the Beatles and it's not a Beatles record, but they are musicians in this group that is called the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. And Paul uh, conceived this idea because he wanted to create something entirely new, uh, like, like it, this is not us. They even did the mustache thing. Yeah, as you see in this oh, yeah. picture, so they yeah, could get the away from that cute boy, maybe boy band image. And, you know, and it's an, another kind of rock music in this record. It's the start of a new kind of rock music, a new time in pop culture where the single is not the important thing, but the album, you know, it's an album oriented rock. And and the fans, the rock fans, after that, they followed that, that idea. You see that that the idea that if you are really serious about the band, that you buy the album. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, y, no, y, y, y ahí que comienza, comienza que no solamente se considera la música eh, rock and roll, pasa a ser el rock. De ese momento, el rock and roll se transforma a la música rock, y, y no tan solo eso, sino que comienzan a ver el rock como una expresión artística. Como que no solamente, ok, vamos a hacer música para bailar en Twist and Shout and Shake It Up Baby. No, no, uh -huh. el rock tiene una expresión artística donde se combinan los elementos técnicos de grabación, se combinan eh, imágenes nuevas, ya no, ya no solamente se, se canta de I love you, you love me, boy, girl, ¿sabes? Ahora hay otras cosas, otra temática, hay colores, yeah, yeah. Hay, hay sabores, hay de todo, hay, tú sabes, hay, hay imágenes historia. nuevas, ¿sabes? Exactamente. There, yeah, there's so much more than, than just the music in this record. Y no tan solo eso, creo que también en el aspecto eh, en el aspecto musical, pero también en la carátula, tiene que ver mucho en esta cuestión de la nueva expresión artística de los mm -hmm. años 60. Right, Frank? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to talk about the cover. It's one of the most iconic covers ever, one of the most imitated, and one of the most recognizable. Uh, it was designed... Uh, the idea was from Paul McCartney, he made a drawing and then he presented it to Peter Blake and Jan How Hay Hayward and they uh, designed it. Uh, the, the uniforms, the Beatles had already uh, ordered before the cover, so that was, uh, that was already 
uh, in that, as you can see in that picture, they, they had already ordered that before they decided how to do the cover. And then they decided, you know, the, the concept for the cover was that it was like a magical concert where any celebrity from any time could be there. And so they, they went about contacting all these people because they had to ask for permission for, for everybody. Almost everybody said yes, except for a couple of, of people. And they had like uh, stars like, you know, singing stars like Bobby Darin, Bob Dylan, and Dion. And they had a, a doll with a Rolling Stones t-shirt. They had, a, they had a Marlon Brando, Tony Curtis. So they had a, also movie, movie stars, Marilyn Monroe. A boxer, Sonny Liston. They had writers like H.G. Wells, Oscar Wilde. Uh, George Harrison made sure that there were some gurus in the picture. Quienes eran, quienes, yo, quienes, quienes eran prácticamente las personas que influenciaron a los Beatles. Cada cual tenía una lista, ¿verdad? Cada cual tenía yeah. una lista de personas que eran los que ellos querían como si hubiesen sido la influencia de los Beatles también. Actually, wow. and the Beatles themselves are present uh, in what figures? Uh, So it's, you got them as Sgt. Pepper and you got them as the Beatles. And everybody did their list. And John had the most interesting list. Uh, he had two rejections because he wanted Hitler. Uh, he, wanted, <laughs> he wanted Jesus. And, and he wanted Jeez. Gandhi. Jesus and, <laughs> Jesus and Hitler. And Gandhi, <laughs> Maybe standing <laughs> side, side by side. Exacto, como que los dos así, mira, como que... Cangueando uno al lado del otro. Uh, and Gandhi, well, you know, he had a wicked sense of humor. And Gandhi, you know, since uh, India was British occupied and whatnot, I can see why that why Gandhi was rejected too at the time. Mm -hmm. So it, yeah, it's man. a very interesting cover, and a secretary had the very hard job of calling everybody to ask for permission. So. Sí, sí. Wow, wow, y, yeah. el, y, el, y el disco, y el disco cuando salió. Sale también este, con otras cositas por dentro, como sí, unos tenía, inserts. Tenía un montón de cositas así que la gente recortaba. Tú sabes, cuando uno era chiquito, que compraba los juguetes, los Presto Magic, yo no sé si te acuerdas, los Presto Magic, que era sí. una cuestión que venía, que tú lo... Qué sé yo, la gente se acuerda, fíjate. No voy a decirle yeah. nada. Y, y de hecho, <risa> Pero anyway... Another anyway, another anyway interesting factor, the, the album, yeah, the album came out with, with a lot of cool stuff. You know, it was just not an album. It was... You know, what's happening? What's the thing, man? Also, uh, very important for the cover, this is the first album ever to have the lyrics printed. Uh -huh. so they, were, yes. they were giving more importance to the lyrics themselves. Like, okay, this is what we wrote. You know, read this, because this is, you know, this yeah, is art. Oh, so, huh? Yeah, man. First time wow. ever. Now it's a common place. But, Now you it's know, common, then, yeah. yeah. It was the first time ever. Thanks to wow. them, though. Cool, cool. Yeah. Oh, 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 again. <laughs> I mean, I I consider that Sgt. Pepper is is one of the greatest influences, and with the greatest, I think the greatest musical impact in the world today. Uh, starting with an album, you know, like uh, uh, Arlemar said, uh, you know, like an album concept that it not previously existed. You know, they they just created this out of out of their minds, you know, it, it never existed be, like b before this album um, and breaking the rules, you know, of, of what was known as a as a rock album, you know, doing the whole album instead of doing a whole lot of singles. They just really committed to the to this to this album that doing a, a different, you know, a concept album, uh, rock album. And uh, they 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 brought, you know, the idea of, of popularizing I, I, I mean, I think popularizing is a good uh, name for it. Uh, the popularizing their, their alter ego, you know, just mm -hmm. just creating this this alter ego and the, just letting, you know, losing the Beatles uh, image and creating a, a new one, which is I think is amazing. Just beginning, just beginning like a, like at zero, you know, starting like at the bottom all, all again, but just creating this masterpiece. And uh, it it has also been recognized as a groundbreaking work, you know, that pushed the record studio uh, technology at the time to it to the to the limit. You know, um, um, Jeff had to you know put some microphone near the drums, and he was almost fired for it. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's it's just yeah. doing you know some things that are normal today. They just they were creating it on the spot because they were they were creating this masterpiece, you know. 
And the uh, the idea for me is the recognition of the fact that had moved on from teeny, you know, teeny bopper band to a full grown mature on musical steroids band. The... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it, it was like the Beatles, not on steroids, but you know, a different kind, a different kind of steroids, you know. <laughs> no, but uh, no, 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 steroids. <laughs> LSD steroids, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no hay, <laughs> sin lugar a dudas que el Sgt. Pepper, el disco Sgt. Pepper, revolucionó en todos los sentidos, en sentido musical, en sentido creativo, en sentido artístico, en el sentido, en el sentido también del mercadeo, porque para ese tiempo los Beatles ya dejaron de hacer giras y ahí no estaban uh -huh. tocando en vivo so, ellos cogieron la idea de Elvis porque Elvis una vez mandó su vehículo lo mandaba a diferentes sitios he sent Elvis send his car his Cadillac on tour so they said well we can do the same thing but we're gonna send the album on tour because at the time the Beatles were not doing wow. you know we're not doing shows They're, you know they, they stopped doing live shows así que en ese sentido rompieron también las reglas y desde ese momento es que tú ves que hay ese boom de banda, ¿sabes? Salen uh -huh. los Pink Floyd, salen los Doors, uh -huh. salen todo este wow, tipo de banda, okay. tú sabes, súper creativa, que decir, wow, tú sabes, se puede hacer, ¿sabes? Podemos, podemos estirar el, el chicle, por decirlo así, o también podemos ver hasta uh -huh. dónde, tú sabes, hasta dónde nos puede, nos puede llevar. Increíble. Y ese año también, bueno, 1968, the Beatles, you know, in the Grammy Awards, 1968, you know, they 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 did great on the on the Grammys. Fisa, whenever you get a chance, show me the picture of the nominations and the and the awards that they got for Sgt. Pepper Lonely Hearts Club Band. Así que Fisa, cuando pueda, ponme la foto de los Grammys. Que la many, tengo por many, ahí. Many awards. Mira a ver si la encuentra. Tiene que estar por ahí. Es lo que hay ahí está. Esto, esto. Mira, los Beatles ganaron 1967, ganaron el Album of the Year, Disco del Año, y el Best Contemporary Album for Sgt. Pepper Lonely Hearts Club Band. Oh, so, ganaron esos dos, y tuvieron, y no solamente eso, fueron nominados por Best Performance by a Vocal Group, o sea, Mejor Interpretación por un Grupo Vocal, Mejor uh, y Interpretación para un Grupo Contemporáneo, y también Best Arrangement, el Mejor Arreglo Wow. Por la canción A Day in a Life. Of course. So, tú sabes. So, los Beatles, tú sabes, prácticamente botaron la casa por la ventana con el disco Sgt. Pepper Lonely Hearts Club Band. Definitivamente. Definitivamente. Uno de los mejores. Yes. Así que, bueno, no sé, vamos a poner algo de música. Así que, Fisu, cuando tenga la oportunidad, ponme un video. Algo de una canción que está en el disco también. Yeah. I agree, I agree. Yeah, <laughs> you agree. <laughs> Goodbye with a little help, help my from friend. my friend. friend. Goodbye. You know, did you remember when we played this on Abbey Road on the River one? Um, oh yeah. I don't think yeah. it's on yeah, YouTube. So everybody here, if you want to look at the jukebox playing songs from this record, go to YouTube to the jukebox YouTube channel. It's one of my favorite shows on earth. That, that I have played with this group, you know, yeah, so much fun. Yeah. That uh -huh. was the that was the uh, the magical mystery show, which we combined yeah. Sgt. Pepper and Magical Mystery Tour, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great right, man, I Muy love bueno. it. That... Yeah, good show, good show. Yeah, well, bueno. I miss Abbey on the River. Yeah, man, yeah, I miss me it. Me too, man. Me too. In October, vamos para allá. In October, Abbey Road on the River. Get ready because. Uh, We're coming. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna take it out on you guys. <laughs> yeah. Few months, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. They're gonna give it all, man. I'll tell you. Yes. Guys, algunos comments. Arne, me dijiste que iba a, a decir algunos comments al público. Ah, espérate, déjame mirar aquí. Aquí, de, acerca de, del álbum Sgt. Peppers, me dicen aquí que el álbum tuvo más instrumentos. Mm -hmm. Definitivamente, sí. Aquí, este álbum. Ellos tuvieron más libertad de, de experimentar con otros instrumentos. Por eso es que es tan difícil tocar live. Most of these songs are cannot be played live, I think. From this yeah, only, only, only if you have Mark Byer with you. Exactly. Only if you have <laughs> Mark Byer with you. Our piano Mark player. Mark keyboard player. Mark, saludito, man. We miss you too. We miss you, you Mark. <laughs> so we can't wait to get back to, you know, Louisville and 
get back together and work on great songs, you know, and do all this crazy stuff that we do. Yes, yes. And here I got uh, Gloria Jarrett says, very nice, boys. Lovely. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. That's my love. <laughs> <laughs> Joanna M. Tartak says, Lennon's voice changed in that, in that album. More mature. Oh, wow. Big time. Oh. Big time. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. yeah definitely, definitely. Especially on the song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. He sings oh, he's so yes. weird. His voice is like, it's like somebody else. You know, it's not John Lennon. It's like, you know. It's a John fusion Pepper voice. I don't know. <laughs> that's right, that's right. What? Let me see what else we have here. Sec Maria Cristina Quinones says, dead. <laughs> I know, yeah. because she, when she, I know her, she, when she said, when she likes something, she says, oh, I, I, I died, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I died. <did. laughs> we'll get back to Thank life. Thank you, Maria. So it's a compliment. <laughs> okay. Good, I'm going to put a heart there. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. All right. A lot of people say that is their favorite record, Peace and Love. Thank you, there everybody, you for your comments. There's Thank you guys for being with us wait. all the time. Yeah. Oye, también hace un tiempito atrás, Ringo y Paul se reunieron en el, en el año 2009. 2009. Paul and Ringo got together for the launch of the rock band Beatles video game. Oh, you remember man. that? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. ¿Quién jugó yeah. rock band Beatles? Yes, I, I did, man. I played the shit out of it. <laughs> ¿Sabes qué, mano? Okay. Que para mí fue un reto porque yo no podía, yo trataba de jugarlo, yo lo puse, pero déjame ponerlo en, en beginning mode, tú sabes. Ah, let me, easy, let me easy. It, let me put it in easy mode and you know, see if I, if I can get the hang of it. And I couldn't. You know, I couldn't do it. I couldn't play on easy mode. I had to put it on yeah. expert because expert is the closest thing to playing, oh, like, to for example, like the drums. Like like for playing for real, you know. Wow. And it was great, man. It was great. It was it was una manera tan y tan ingeniosa, tan brutal de dar a conocer los Beatles a las generaciones nuevas, yes. a los niños. It was the best way to let the kids know about the Beatles. You know, the young, especially the young generations. You know, mm -hmm. kids seven, eight, nine years old. You know, playing this game and learning not only the Beatles music but learning the concept of playing music, you know, of using an instrument and playing and singing and, and keeping time and about melody and about, you know, uh, dynamics and everything. It was, it was great. It was oh, great. Yes. Increíble, yes. man. Increíble. Se la comieron. Yeah, I agree, man. It's Ale, very, what, it's very what, educational. Yo jugué rock, but yeah, I played it. I wish I had it, but I, I've never, I don't know if for good or bad, I've never had like a video game console. Uh, you know, but it, but it's good, you know, because a lot of time goes playing those games. But either way, I wish I had it. Uh, it's really awesome for for teaching the kids, yeah, about the Beatles music, about playing music in general. You and to me as a musician, I learned a couple of tricks from the from the game, especially in the bass playing parts. I could I could play the Beatles music because the sound. In that record, it's like more, actually, I say vibrant. I think they did a new mix for that for they, that game. They did, definitely, yeah. They did, yeah. And, they did, and you could really feel that bass line and that guitar part in the game, more mm -hmm. so maybe a little bit, tiny bit more than in the than in the record. So I learned yeah, a lot yeah. about playing was, Beatles was, music from that game. Yeah, that that mix was done by by Giles Martin, George Martin's son. He See? went to the He went to the original tracks and you know mixed them, and the thing is, how how can you take away the drums from a two-track tape where everything's together? So, ¿cómo es posible que tú puedas sacar? Okay, vamos a sacar el track de la batería cuando los Beatles grababan todo el mundo en vivo. Yep. Y bueno, no es imposible, no es como ahora que ahora tú sabes el platillo está en un track, el el tambor está en otro track, la primera nota del bajo está en otro track, o sea, así. But in those times, they recorded in vivo. So it was, it was, you know, it was a work of, you know, technology and and just sheer intelligence. Yes, definitely. Ale, perdona, te te interrumpí ahí. No, no, I I agree, I agree. Um, I I lost my track of thought. <laughs> But yeah, um, what year was it again? Let me see. 2009. 2009. Oh my God, that was like 11 years ago. I remember uh, that was 
When did Paul McCartney come to Puerto Rico? It was around that time, right? 2009. Yeah, it was around 2010. Yeah. 10, wow, 2010. Okay. 2010, yeah. 2010, because I remember in the concert they had the rock band thingy and the kids were playing and, oh, yeah. you know, so rock band is very good for music education around the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I, I remember that when it came out, uh, we, we started getting a lot of younger fans at the shows and we had a like a big concert around the same time. And, you know, there were a lot of kids there and, you know, it was great. As for me playing the game, on guitar, I didn't find it that much fun because, like, I knew how to do the real stuff. So, you know, I don't. <laughs> but I don't play drums. So, you know, yeah. I start, when I when I sat down to play the drums, then I said, "Oh, I get it now." You know, it was a lot of fun because I don't know how to play drums. When I'm, and all of a sudden, oh, I'm Ringo now. Yeah. I get oh it. yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> so that, that that was it was fun for me to play the drums on it. Oh, I still man. don't know how to play drums. <laughs> Did you yeah, pass the uh, yeah, mm. I, I used to play a lot of it, you know, and my kid liked it too, so it was a lot sí. of fun. Mm -hmm. sí. nena, jugaba, se sabía todas las canciones, y she, my daughter, she would unlock, you know, uh, the secret songs and everything, you know, oh, cool. she was so good at, she was so yeah, good at Christmas it, you know, that, that she, she would <laughs> yeah. unlock, you know, and get some bonus and get some, you know, I don't know, some hidden, you know, hidden, uh, what, how do you call it, Easter eggs. Yeah. That's yeah. how they call it, yeah. Easter eggs. And uh, yeah, yeah, she was pretty good. She loved it. Yeah. Ali, you got the rock band. Man, yes, I did. I did. I was, uh, you know, you guys know me. I'm a, I'm a big uh, geek fan. You know, I play a lot of freaking video games. So <laughs> that was, that was my, that was my senior year. And uh, I went with, with one of my, you know, my one of my best friends at the time. Uh, we went to the midnight, you know, launch, and we got the game at at midnight, and we went to his house. And we played the whole night, and uh, and it was and it, and it was so awesome because for a full you know for a full couple of months, I could show my skills and my knowledge, my Beatle knowledge, you know, because cause I could play the bass and sing the songs, and uh, and sing the parts, and out then that was so fun for me, you know, just just you know showing off in front of my friends that that I knew the Beatles songs and they were just learning them, and uh, and uh, you know for me it was so it was so cool and. Uh, I mean, I wish I had the game still, cause I I, I will play that game every day. Yeah. <laughs> every day. yeah, man. Especially especially now, you know, that could have been a great, you know, a great alternative to not playing live music. Okay, so let's play rock band <laughs> yeah, Beatles, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and, and we could have played online, and you could be at your house, I could be in my yeah, house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We could have practiced. <laughs> Pero tú sabes la batería, en la batería está está cool porque en el experto. Eh, te dice los drum field, o sea, el drum, cuando va el drum field de la batería, te dice los puntitos. Oh, that's how he did it. You know, it, it you know, it would help me out sometimes, you know, to uh, descifrar los cortes de la batería. Because, you know, you have to play the drum fills and yes. you can see it in the, you can see it, you know, in the, in the screen. And I would say, oh, you know, oh, that's three, you know, three notes instead of four, you know, and, you know, it, it, it would, you know, it helped me quite a bit. On that, especially in the expert mode. Así que Rock Band Beatles, mano, me acuerdo que nosotros hacíamos los shows y montábamos una estación de Rock Band y los nenes venían y jugaban. And it was great, man. It was yeah, such it was a, good. I mean, such a, a, a great way of, of letting the kids know about the Beatles in a fun way. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, man. It was also emotional for me in a way because when you play career mode, you go through the history of the band. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. so when you're a fan, it's emotional experience yeah. to play this game. And you can listen to them going like one, two. Three, oh, yes. Yeah. You, feel you, will, you feel part of it. You feel part, feel part of it, man. Of it. <laughs> yeah, man. That's so great. You know, you know, I leí que ahora que estamos hablando del history, verdad, que sale en el video game. You can see, you can see, you know, the early Beatles, the mid Beatles, and the late Beatles. And uh, but I read que Yoko Ono una vez fue para el, you know, para el Enterprise que estaba haciendo esto. A uh, que hace porque en uno de los tracks que le dieron sale Ringo eh, de tocando back in US, eh, back in USSR, and that, and that's not him. So. <laughs> 
So ella se molestó como que, no, Ringo's not part of it. <laughs> But, you know, they wanted to make a peaceful history. They, they don't want to teach the bad parts. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so let's, course. let's keep Ringo on the track. Y creo que también este... George is playing uh, Why My Guitar Gently Weep Solo, which originally was Eric Clapton. They didn't put Eric Clapton in the game. Yeah, but Eric... Yeah, look at this. Look at the, oh, the look animation. At that. The animation was so good, man. Oh, yeah. And it's, and it's a different... I mean, we talk about the Beatles animation styles. You know, the, the Beatles are cartoons in a prior episode. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about the Yellow Submarine cartoons. We talk about the TV cartoons. But this is a new animation. This is a new image of the Beatles as cartoons. Yes. Y, mano, yes. lo hicieron brutal, brutal. Rock I band Beatles, it. mano. Estoy esperando que hagan el rock band solo Beatles. Oh, man, that would be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> la canción más fácil va a ser, la canción más fácil va a ser Give Peace a Chance. Give Peace a Chance. Oh, yeah. That's, That's going to be the easiest. La, como que the, the first one on the top. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 beginning, beginner. <laughs> Give Peace a Chance. Oh, oh man, yeah, I can't wait! Like, can't so wait for cool. the you know, Rock Band Beatles. What a great game! I give it two thumbs up, man. That's yeah, it was great. Up. Oh, and uh, that we didn't say that you know the Rock the Rock Band game. You know, two versions. There was the first version that actually came with the Hofner bass, uh -huh. and the, I think it was the Rickenbacker, right? And the and the vlog with yeah. man, it was it was awesome. I I I, I mean, you had to pay like three hundred dollars, but it, it was worth it. You know, it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> It was a splendid time, guaranteed for all. Guaranteed for all. <laughs> Indeed, man, it was. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bueno, pues vamos con, uh, con un videito ahora, hablando de Rock Band Beatles. Vamos a hablar, vamos a hacer una de las canciones que hicimos en uno de los shows pasados. Let's do a video, you know, from one of our prior episodes. 